What do I mean with that? Normally, when we talk about innovation and R&D, we think of a paradise and a separate world of commercialization, which is a hell. These two worlds are separated. These two worlds, especially in the deep tech, work completely different, and they have different types of information and access to different types of knowledge. However, if you want to have a very good, successful company and a product, these two need to be a two sides of the coin. One identifies the need and builds, and the other one identifies who needs it and delivers it to that person. So we need to be able to essentially work together. However, this is very hard with the most advanced technologies in the world that are fueling our growth across different technologies. This is hard because the product needs to be developed. The R&D is very expensive and lengthy. And also the commercialization also has its own challenges. But we want to essentially put them all based on same access to the same knowledge. And we call that the most detailed map of science and technology. We want to give them access to the map of their world and give them open different windows for them so they can ask the relevant question that matters to them. Especially uh, seven questions we're going to focus on. What to make? How to make it? Can we make it? Because if it's protected, we cannot make it because of intellectual property. What is the best market to go after? What are the key clients? Who are their decision makers? And why should they have my product? These are the type of questions that across the product line timeline, we need to be able to answer as much detail as we want. As of now, we have more than 45 clients in the deep tech world, big ones, small ones, scale ups, very few, uh, a few very big names. But also we have a lot more clients to gain around 500,000 clients that we identified using our own map. So let me give you a real world example on this. A client based in the US, they have more than $5 billion per year revenue. They are in many different industries, including microscopy. Their microscopes cost around 3 million. Very capable has many different application areas across different fields, aging research or, uh, or oncology and such. And when you have a product that is so capable and has so many fragmented market applications, then it's a disaster coming. And that is losing big market opportunities. And that is exactly what happened when they realized using site to date that they were missing soil research market because of all the environmental studies, microplastics and such. These are very heavily funded across industries and they were missing on that. And last year they started an initiative to focus and sell this product to them. And because now they exactly know this product it's for soil research, who are the top clients, what are their needs, and how can we address them? They can run a marketing campaign that does wonders, has 15 times the actual, more than 15 times the conversion. From 2%, their conversion goes to up to 35%. And this is unheard of, because now they exactly are talking to the right person in the right way. And then when they pass on those marketing leads to sales, sales can talk to them with all that insights that they have about the customer, the market, and the product. And they can generate as much as three times the opportunities and close it much faster. And we see this across our plans. We have a team of 15 people. We're going to have soon some uh, colleagues in the US as well. Myself, I'm a researcher by background in theoretical quantum physics. My colleague is a researcher in 
uh, like Yon, my co-founder and CTO, is a researcher in uh, deep learning and data um, engineering. Amaury is the one who knocked on all the doors of those 45 clients and more to get them. Very active sales, very aggressive we are. And my colleague, uh, Puya, co-founder and CTO of um, CBAP, the application in Iran on the iPhone App Store. He's our head of product. So let me show you another cool thing. This is another window to that map of science and technology. It used for R&Ds and across also different industries, scientists, technology, scouts, or innovation officers. I'm showing in this example, what are the, like asking a question, what are the different coatings that are used uh, inside new batteries? Do a paper search in the research articles. And it just goes and searches, it finds, titanium dioxide and different ways and different uh, of them based on the sources that we have here. And you see here, it actually references the sources. This does not only search as papers and references papers, but also it can reference patents and such. He sa say here, if I use of those coatings in batteries, are patented and yes they are patented so it prohibits me to do that if i'm in the innovation department it's very good to know these i can also ask follow-up question to give me more of those patents in a second i will show it to you right now so i ask it give me more patents and it's doing that and going again to the u.s patent office and seeing what um, what patents it has. And we are actually training this and tuning it to create our own model. So now I can ask even more follow-up questions. So I did papers, patents, and I now I can ask even more follow-up questions. Let me just go ahead a bit. So I asked what funded projects they are. It comes up with the different funded projects in coating in batteries in that specific coating. And then I can actually see who are those who have the patents, who are those, the companies that have patents, if I want to sell them something and that are patenting those coating, if I want to sell those uh, coating for their bat uh, battery and such. And it just comes up with it. Let me show you. This is the companies, 1,500 companies in the coating. I can show you also, these are the researchers that are working in that, if you wanna sell them something or hire them for a certain area. And this is people that are doing different grants. Have a great evening, talk to you soon, hopefully see you soon.